Okay, so this is going to be a really simple steam activity. You don't need much. It's done in my kitchen. You can do it in yours. So what this is, is this is a hard-boiled egg. How to hard-boil an egg? I know the best method. Move over, Joy of Cooking. You're over. So what you do is you boil it for five minutes in a pot and you let it be at a rolling boil. Then you turn it completely off, put on the cover, and let it sit in that same hot water for eight minutes. And then you can rinse it off um, with cold water so that you can eat it. The good news about this experiment is it's completely sustainable because all the eggs that are used, you can eat later, nothing is wasted. And now this one is a raw egg. Now I've seen this experiment done in many different ways. The best way I think is to do it as a magic trick to fool your friends. So what you do is you have two eggs, one's hard boiled, one's not. And what you're going to do is you're going to spin the eggs and then you're going to crack the hard boiled egg on your forehead because you will be able to tell which is which. Let me show you how. Here I have my trusty magic wand and we're going to do some magic. Okay, don't mind the lime and the quinoa in the background here. This is all part of the process. So, jiggery pokery, hocus pocus, agracazabra, alakazam. And now we spin the eggs. How interesting. Note that I'm trying to use the same amount of force on these eggs. This is all approximate. Here goes this one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. That was very interesting. Okay. Now from my magic, I am sensing that this egg is hard boiled. So now it is time for the moment of truth. I'm gonna take the egg that I believe is hard boiled and I'm gonna crack it on my head. This is very exciting for your friends. They're gonna really like this part because if you mess it up, it will be very epic for them. So here we go. One, two, three. Aha, I was right. Now let me tell you why. All right, I just got some advice from the peanut gallery in my house. Wanna know what they said? Ready? Miss Shire. Both of those eggs could have been hard boiled. How do we know? How do we know? Oh my goodness. Okay, let me prove it to you. Okay, so the reason that um, the hard boiled egg spins faster is because when it is boiled, the egg becomes a mass and that mass attaches itself to the um, shell or the circumference of the egg. And what this means is that it creates a better spin. Whereas when you have a raw egg, the egg is all liquefied inside and is just sloshing around in there and so it's not all unified with this, the outside of the egg and that makes it spin sl more slowly. And just to prove that this is a raw egg, I'm going to crack it, um, but first let's just verify the spin. It spins really well even when it's cracked for the hard boiled one, so I'll show you that. Okay, hard boiled, go, go, go! Yay! Huh. Okay, and this one? Oh, 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 that's raw. Okay. Look at that pathetic spin. Okay, so I know we believe the hard-boiled one is hard-boiled because it didn't get all over my face, but is the raw one raw? Let's see. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, I can't do this with one hand, but you can see there's egg dripping out there. You get the point. That would have been sad to have all over my face. So tying into our um, biology unit, because we're doing a STEAM activity, um, this was physics. So what the phenomenon that we were seeing was angular momentum, which is responsible for why things spin. But for biology, um, when you boil a protein like that, you're essentially denaturing it. So that's an example of denaturization of a protein and how it looks different. So the white will look solid, opposed to the liquefied egg white that happens in the raw egg. And that is part of what we do when we cook. Um, another thing that we can tie into is an arts thing. So if you observe um, a skater or a ballerina and how they spin, they will use the human body in the most optimal way 
to help them spin fast and long and for a while, and in a way that's aesthetically pleasing, meaning that it looks good to the eye. So let's try to do a pirouette right now to use the principles. So if I have my arms out like this, I'm gonna try and assist myself to spin, and I'm gonna spot by looking at the wall. I haven't done this in a while, so I don't know how this is gonna work. Probably one of you will be better at this than me. Let's go. Okay, I banged into my fridge, but nailed it. 